Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you new features, restrictions in Microsoft Forms uh, text question. So let's let's see actually what are the new uh, features. By the way, there's a post that was uh, published uh, a couple of days ago that shows all of the possibilities and there's also a table of restrictions and the possibilities that can be done. Let's uh, check it out. So what I'll do, I'm in Microsoft Forms. I'll create a new form, give it a name. Let's just call it a demo and let's add a question. Let's add a text question. So the first uh, new restrictions that we can do is we can go to the three dots, click restrictions and this is actually that was existing. There's a restriction of a number. And uh, the possibility is to check if it's really a number or if it's greater or greater than an equal and less or equal or between or a whole number. So this was uh, before. So let's just keep it as a number and let's check if I enter some text. I can see that it's actually saying only numbers are allowed. So now I enter the number and it's working as uh, I want it. Let's create a new text uh, question and let's go to the restrictions again. And second possibility is a text. So actually what we can do is to say that a certain text can contain or does not contain the following uh, text. So let's say, please uh, tell us your experience. And what we will put here, the word experience. Now, um, if I preview, it also writes what it must uh, do. So it says, please enter text that contains experience. So if I type something that has nothing to do with it, we'll say it's not possible. But let's say I have experience and now all of a sudden uh, the validation is okay. So we went to the second uh, validation, which is the text. Let's create a new uh, text question. And we will go to restrictions. And what we can do now is to validate the length. So we can say the length can be either minimum or maximum, a number. So let's say the minimum will be uh, four characters. Uh, so let's just check it. And it says, please uh, put at least. So if I put one and two, it's not okay if I put four, three. It's not okay if I put four, then the validation is okay. So this is actually what I did at least. But uh, if we have, for instance, a long text, we could say that it can be up to 250 characters. And if we want to uh, do a maximum of 200, let's say maximum of 10 characters, then we could uh, see that if it goes more than that, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And actually if we see here, we see that if, if we pass the, the maximum, we will get an, uh, an error. So uh, this is the length. Let's choose another text question, go to restrictions, and actually, what are we checking now? So again, restrictions. Now we can choose an email. So if somebody enters something which is not an email, please enter an email, let's preview, let's go down. So if I type, this is not an email. So it it's okay, but if I write ami at gmail, Dot com, it says it's okay. So this is a new thing. 
let's go. The next one is actually something that we can uh, choose restrictions and a URL. So up until now, um, we could not do it. But if we preview and I go to the last question and I just type like this, this is not a URL. Okay. But if I write www.cnn.com, it says it's okay. And if I only write www, it says it's not okay. So back to the summary. Um, this table actually shows what are the restrictions and the possibilities for a number. For text, it either contains or doesn't contain. For length, we have a minimum count and a maximum count. And then we have an email and URL. Here we have examples for all of the things we did. And as you can see, again, we can see that also uh, it writes automatically for the user what he should use and what is the validation. So this is new. It's available already in most tenants. So try it out and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.